Ah yes, federalism. A topic on which America is truly based upon. Federalism is the process by which two or more governments share powers over the same geographic area. What is an example of this? In the United States, the Constitution grants certain powers to both the U.S. government and the state governments. This power is delegated to create more fair and equal opportunities and opinions for states all around the country. Both types of government act directly upon the people through their officials and laws, making sure that no one governmental body has monoplomatic control over any other place or body. The powers in America are divided into bodies. These include, but are not limited to, the United States, federal government agencies, and state governments. These governmental agencies, also known as departments, are very plentiful in the United States. Some of these are do, the Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of Agriculture, the Department of Defense, the Department of State, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Veterans Affairs. That's a lot of demons. Government agencies are used to regulate and control the affairs and discrepancies in their outlined titles. The Department of Veterans Affairs, for example, is responsible for providing vital services to America's veterans. The department provides health care services, benefit programs, and access to national cemeteries to former military personnel and their dependents. Federalism is used in America so that no single body has full control. It is also used to control the flow of materials and resources throughout the entire country. The government would enter a state of shutdown without it. All state governments are modeled after the federal government and consist of three branches, executive, legislative, and judicial. The federal government has powers vested by the U.S. Constitution in the Congress, the President, and the federal courts. Under the Tenth Amendment in the U.S. Constitution, state governments hold all powers not granted to the federal government. This means that state governments don't hold all of the power, and neither does the federal government, making power non-monopolized. Hence, the reason for federalism. Federal government stretches from central government to the state government. They share certain responsibilities and measures of leading, but work together to control what happens in the government. Federal laws apply to everyone throughout the United States. State laws only apply to people who are citizens, residents, or visitors to a particular state. And local laws, almost the same as state laws, apply to people who are citizens, residents, or visitors to that particular city or area.